history about our role for being holders of this practice, this way of life, and being observers of it as well, which she pretty much said you don't observe it, you live it. And um, taking that in, like I'm, you know, swallowing that, like, yes, I live it. Oh, I live it. And to be asked to sing for the chief. Oh, I was scared. I was like, oh my God, this cannot be happening right now. Daniel, me, 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 me. <laughs> and I don't know if I got the words right. I was going through all kinds of emotions. And my family was sitting there with tears in their eyes from the lecture, feeling, and said, sing. So I opened my mouth and I sang for the chief. And that is, is, is. It's, it reminded me of like being called by the pastor to church. When the pastor say, you know, I need to hear this song. Tossie, come up here and sing this song. You know, it's the same feeling. And you see your family members and church members looking at you, nodding your head. And then they joined in to support you. Because I was scared. I was scared. And they enjoyed, they enjoyed it. That meant a lot. That meant a lot. To please the chief, 
to tickle the ears of the chief and the mama Rochelle. Like just what more can you really ask for after studying and and doing this work here in America? Like what more can you ask for but to go there in a temple in front of the chief and to be able to do that? We did that. 